Greetings people, hope you're well, I'm excited because this Goldtech USB fluffy emulator has arrived from my Akai S950. Now if you were going to buy one of these direct from the manufacturer, it wouldn't be compatible, you'd need to flash it with the HXC firmware, which would require you to buy a programmer, cables, the firmware, you'd need to do a bit of soldering, and you'd need to set up a USB stick for it. But there's a guy on eBay that sells these with all that done for you for 43 quid so if you're like me and you can't be bothered with the hassle I'll stick his details in the comments section below afterwards the USB stick comes with the CFG file on it uh, which tells the floppy emulator how to work with the S950 it also comes with 50 blank floppy disk images on it uh, to get you started but it'll hold a thousand floppy disk images so even just alone that makes it well worth the money in my opinion because a box of 10 floppy disks will cost you what like a 10 or 15 quid this is a thousand of those basically 43 quid well worth it so all you really need to do is whip out the floppy disk drive and stick this in so let's do it the only tool you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver you just need to remove the rackets these two screws on the side and that one on the back. So this is the S950 motherboard. And don't ask me what all the other bits and pieces are, I don't know. But if you look down here, that silver box underneath everything else down there, that's the floppy disk drive. And this white cable is where it attaches to the board. If you look through the side here, that white cable you can see through there that's the other end of that cable attached to the drive so I don't want to take all that stuff out of the way but if you look underneath I think these four screws one two three four I think they're where the drive attaches to the box so I'm just going to unscrew them unplug that wire and see if it'll pull out the front So I'm just going to unscrew all these little ends to get all this bit out of the way. Now you can see there's that ribbon cable attached as well, which I suspect is where the data transfers. That's going to need to get unplugged as well, stuck back into the emulator. And here it is, coming out. That's your floppy drive. No more faffing about. So I've just fl slotted the Goldtech into there and then the two wires, if you can see that it's a bit dark in there but those two wires that were attached to the drive just attached in exactly the same way to the emulator I've just unscrewed this metal frame off the floppy drive it acts as like a spacer to keep it raised off the, the base of the sampler I'm going to attach the frame through those holes with the screws provided with the emulator into the bottom of the emulator and then the same screws that went through the sampler into this before will obviously work to do that again so then it's just the same four screws back underneath the sampler which will go into the frame attaching the emulator to the sampler Back on. And we just need to put the case back on and the rack is. All there is left to do now is just plug it in and hope it still works. Here we go. You confident? It's alive! Check it out. That works, that works. HXC. We're in business. Let's make some music. Good luck. That's how you install a Goldtech USB floppy emulator on an Akai S950. Uh, if you've got any questions, don't ask me because I probably don't know any more than that. That was a bit of a blag. Uh, but I'll put the details of the guy who sorted me out the thing in the comments section and he'll probably be able to help you. 
Uh, have fun. Peace.